Are you interested in passing the Salesforce Admin 201 exam? And do you need an effective yet reasonably short study plan? Then listen to my ideas on how you can pass the exam by studying very hard for 7 days. 7 days might seem short, but these will be intense days of studying. Every day, 3 to 4 hours of studying. So 2 hours in the morning, 2 hours in the evening. If you study very hard for 7 days, you can get done with this. Days 1, 2, 4. Study Mike Wheeler's Complete Salesforce Administrator Certification course. This course is offered on Udemy for $12. Although the course is 11 hours, material that is relevant to the exam is just about 8 hours. Study this material for 3 hours every day. Mike Wheeler has helped 30,000 students pass the exam. I was one of them. I loved Mike's clear diction, visuals, my ability to rewind parts that need more clarity, to go back to it in a, in a few days. This course is only $12. That's so cheap for such great material. Plus, after you complete the core materials, he has a section on test taking strategies and a 60 question practice test. So for 4 days, study this material for 3 hours daily. An hour and a half before work, after you wake up, and an hour and a half half two hours after work should be done with this course within four days on day five look for practice questions now you know the basics of salesforce now you need to really practice and become a good test taker the best place to do that is on quizlet.com the material there is free some of it was old and relevant but a lot of it seemed spot on i remember when i was taking the exam i was pleasantly surprised how similar the questions were to what i practiced on quizlet i think some people remember the questions took the time to write them out afterwards on quizlet i don't have that kind of memory but some do and have shared their knowledge so to take a day for three hours Practice Salesforce Admin 201 questions on Quizlet. Practice, practice, practice. On day 6, review your mistakes from Mike Wheeler's practice exam and on Quizlet. So review your mistakes, try to understand why did you not pick the right question, what were your assumptions, how can you tweak your assumptions to get the right answer next time. Once you've reviewed your mistakes from Mike Wheeler's exam and on Quizlet, take two hours to buy a Mike Wheeler's Salesforce Admin 201 practice test. They also cost $12. You get three full exams. Take them. Take them one after another. On day seven, have a complete review of those three practice exams, Quizlet exams and Mike Wheeler's basic courses exams. So basically now you have the both knowledge and the test taking experience. You'd be a great test taker. Once you're getting 80% correct, immediately register for the exam and take it. By day eight, you should be ready. A word of advice before you take the exam. Make sure you buy an external camera. I got stressed out when I felt I was ready to take the exam, realizing that I cannot use my laptop's camera. I thought the, the camera from my laptop was sufficient, but no. So I had to reschedule. I ordered the camera on eBay. I waited for it. Two, three days later, I took the exam and I found that the camera from eBay was not sufficient because it, I couldn't place it far enough from my laptop so that the person who's checking me as I do the exam cannot see me fully. So I had my brother went to Best Buy, had to buy another camera, then I took the exam again in two, three days. I was stressed out over these five days of waiting to take the exam. I was afraid I'll start forgetting it. Or oh, what if I forget some important things? So I kept studying, worrying if the camera will work. So to avoid the stress, buy a very good camera with a long extension cord that you can put on the side and that will capture you widely as you take the exam. So this was my seven day plan for you to passing the Salesforce admin exam. So what you just heard right now is my seven day plan for you to passing the Salesforce admin 201 exam. You won't necessarily ace it because you didn't spend months and months. You didn't attend the Salesforce admin course by Salesforce or some other trainer. You passed the exam and that's what counts. If you like this video, please like it. If you loved it, share it and if you have any questions about the exam preparing for it or certain questions leave a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible